All right, Hoffa and welcome back to the Hotspot. Charlie Hermosa is in studio. He is a former, well, can you ever be a former U.S. Marine? He's a lifelong U.S. Marine. Uh, he's a professor at the University of Guam, and he's also president of Bella Wings Aviation. He is rocking the shirt right now, and I love that logo, by the way, Charlie. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. I like I, that. I think everybody kind of, the branding is is key now with BWA. So everybody there you go. Yeah. Well, you you have actually established you know, your, your own passion and your own expertise as the brand to go to um, when people want uh, take an interest in drones out here and you've actually got a new program that's making you know technology available and comprehensible to young people because you know I remember when drones first came out it's like okay well you have to be really really good with cameras you have to know how to fly and everything like that and it was very very esoteric but now you're actually trying to make this technology um, like I said digestible by by little kids oh no absolutely and, and I as think, it should be uh, no absolutely and I think that um, that's really where the sort of creative uh, minds came to uh, came to be about the program because one of the things that we we quickly noticed was the fact that everybody sort of loves you know drones and the technology and where it's going but we wanted to be able to bring it to the level where we can start kind of putting an idea to to the kids as they continue to you know move up in their ranks move up in the school system uh, because we're actually always looking for for pilots we're looking for people to come in the industry join our company and so why not better a way to be able to promote the uh, the industry at a, at a younger age and get them interested so young so so it's a total win-win for you because you you have a, a cadre if you will of, of well-trained well-aware technicians operators and everything like that and then you get a lot of people who are you know super soaked about this technology no absolutely our, our mission our mission right now is to be able to spark that interest and to to keep them on island mm -hmm. so let's let's get them through the uh, the school system through UOG GCC and then you know come back and be able to have an industry where they can work for yes sir okay so when we talk about the junior drone program right Charlie how, how junior is junior that's so, that's, a, that's a fairly fairly uh, well-defined range I would say it's a yeah, so we, we sort of defined it between the ages of, the program's gonna be the ages of seven to 12. Mm, um, okay. and, and the way the program is gonna be structured is, is very sort of mission essential. So it's a 12 week program. Uh, we could either do it two, two days a week or one day a week, depending on how uh, the after school program can run with the parents being able to get the kids. It's, uh, it's gonna be on a first come first serve basis. So we have spots for 14 kids on this initial round. Uh, we also do want to thank Ida because this, this is through a grant that we were able to receive and to do the after school program. Mm -hmm. So without their help, this could not be possible. But And I would suspect that the, all, each one of those seats is going to fill up real, real quick. I mean, we haven't even announced it yet. And we have just, I mean, an array of, of folks already sending in their, their resumes and saying my kids should be in and so forth. So And, certainly, and certainly you being on our show and everything is going to make that happen because mm -hmm. that's what we do here at KUM. We make amazing people like Charlie hit those success strides in. No, absolutely. And, and we thank you for, for everything that you've been able to do for us to get the word out. And we, we want to be able to also let the, uh, the community know that we do our, we're going to take it further, step further. So we've actually, we're going to do another program uh, once we're done with the initial program and we're actually going to bring it down south. We're going to mm -hmm. do it in, in, in Alahan. Okay, so we're looking at some footage right now, Charlie. This is, this is your company, Bella Wings Correct. Aviation. Um, you know, some, some of your staff. I mean, these, these are expert technicians. You know, you, you've vetted them. You've trained a lot of them. Um, we also saw a shot of, of a young person wearing, you know, the first person view um, headset. Is that what you've got here today? No, this, these are actually, um, these are VR, virtual reality okay. uh, goggles. And uh, part, of the, uh, part of the program is going to be able for, for us to institute the, the, the virtual reality for us to be able to travel to, let's just say, uh, we want to go to Brazil next week. And so all 14 students, we all don the VR goggles and we teleport and jump into that world. Very cool. Yeah. So, and then the, uh, the guys- It's all 3D. It's all it's completely all 3D. immersive. They will, they will feel like they're actually there. That wow. is awesome. Yeah, it's going to be amazing for the kids. Okay, I'm not between the ages of seven to twelve, but like, if I can, I sign up and absolutely, you okay, can always you get, always come in and and that's one of the, that's the other program that we're going to run. We're going to hold four workshops for the parents and the kids to come in. It's going to be four hours on on different villages for four hours on a, on a weekend on a Saturday, mm -hmm. and and the the parents and the, and the students can come in together. So uh, we want to be able to promote safety and do all these other initiatives that we want to to be able to promote the industry around all the villages. Mm -hmm. um, the the program we've partnered up with uh, the leading uh, drone. It, the company's called Drone Legends. And do me a favor, hold hold it up to that camera if you would, Charlie, because this this book is fantastic. I mean, the pedagogy behind this is very very effective for young minds. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is based on twelve missions, um, and so every every week. So for example. Uh, we'll have a search and rescue mission. We'll have a vol volcano mission. Um, we'll um, we'll do uh, uh, 
a coding mission, right? So the students will be able to have their tasks. So every mission will start with a, with a task. They need to complete it. Um, it's very intuitive. Um, and so, you know, different examples of the different missions that we'll do. There, there's a uh, shark watch. Uh, and then with I'm just going to say, this looks like a lot of oh, fun. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So they have Not different stuffy tasks. Not at all. Huh. No, no, no. This is going to be super fun. And, and, and one of the things that they've also said that this can apply to even beyond the age of 12, right? Because some of the folks that would be working, some of the kids will never have experienced this. Even for myself, when, I, when we went through the program, mm -hmm. I was like, this, I, should, I wish I had this when we started because this is a great lesson. Um, so it's very intuitive. I, I think that it, it's going to really hit the mark in being able to spark interest in the students. Um, and, but the opportunity to be able to bring this down south to Inalahan is going to be very key because we were trying to see how we can get the kids up, but we're going to bring it to them instead. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring the program down south and then uh, the weekend programs and get the parents involved. And um, that's sort of what the mission is going to be all right. about. And also as an educator, Charlie, you have always promoted the importance of, of STEM and then passing that down. And you, know, you can never start too young. Everybody thinks, oh, okay, well, we got to start STEM at the university level. This right here, you know, with these illustrations and with the, you know, with the very fun themes that we can see in this book and with your program, you're teaching basically rudimentary physics, problem solving, you know, trigonometry and everything like that. Like, I mean, underneath the guise of some really fun, fun projects. And, you know, like, like you said, it is, it is a flight mission. And, and that's true. And so that's what we're going to be able to pull that, um, that thinking from the students because they're going to do it from a not... I guess sometimes when you're either in a classroom or in a study environment, it's kind of, kind of, it gets stuffy a little bit and mm -hmm. you can't get the, the, you know, the brain to kind of function. But when you're doing something that you perceive as fun, the, the, the juices, the energy really comes out. And we're going to really see the students really come out of their shell and really see how practical they are and see how smart they are. And, and that's one of the things that we want to be able to produce, be able to pull that energy, let them know that, hey, you know how to do this, mm -hmm. right? But now you're doing it in a fun way. In your beta test of, of this program, what has been like, you know, the feedback from people that have tried on the VR, you know, the goggles and, and actually like said, OK, well, I, I know I'm in Tumon somewhere and everything. I put these in and, and I mean, no light comes in. Your, your brain is completely immersed in the environment. It's three dimensional. You know, it's stereo sound and everything like that. So you are there. Correct. Yeah. Well, what's yeah, the feedback? So the feedback has been uh, absolutely uh, it, you have to see it to believe it. So when we've put on the kids and uh, they've done, it's, we've had uh, some demos where they're in a classroom setting and there's a mechanical dog that's following them and, and we're saying, you can pet them. And for them to be able to, um, to click on it because we, we've given them examples of tasks. Okay, now put the wrench on this, you know, find this uh, on, on the schematic mm -hmm. and they're able to do it virtually, right? So outside looking at them, they're in the air kind of moving around and it, it just, it, it felt like they were very immersed and they, I think they've, the younger generation kind of feels it. And I think for us, when we first dawned, we were like, oh my Lord, for them, it's almost like second nature already. They're mm. growing up in this type of environment, this type of technology. So I think for them to take this and then bring it to the next level as they continue to grow up and as they can go into their own industry, I think that's sort of the level that we want to get to. Okay, now we want to emphasize this one point because parents are probably watching this right now and saying, you know, like I can see the benefits and everything. I'm interested in any, any cost, I'm interested in um, how I can qualify, and I'm interested in how much time you know, my, my son or daughter um, you know, would have to devote to this program. Okay, so the cost is free. So it's, it's free. I like that word, best yeah. four letter word in the English language. It's, it's free to the public. Um, first come, first serve, the, the seats are very limited. Um, the, the schedule will be two hours per week at a minimum. Uh, we may change it up in case, because we're getting feedback also from parents and say maybe they can have two days per week. So instead of having 12 weeks, we'll do it in six weeks, but two days, two days a week for two hours oh, okay. per day. So they get more reps per week and yep. everything. They so, retain more. Yep. So I can be, see that. It'll be from four to six. Um, that's sort of the, the time schedule from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., mm -hmm. two hours. And, and then on the weekend uh, workshops, there'll be four hours uh, from nine, starting at nine. And we're going to work out with the villages. So uh, it's free, uh, ages seven to 12. Uh, from four to six. Uh, right now, we're 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 looking at possibly doing Wednesday, Thursday, or definitely Wednesday per mm -hmm. week. And then the dates uh, we're finalizing because we needed to make sure that we had the, the room and everything set up. So, um, and obviously, we know that once we release the dates and we open the floodgates for applications, you know, we're going to get an abundant amount of that because we already mm -hmm. we've already received. So, what we're going to do is we're going to vet. We're going to have a good balance of of kids. Um, but the one thing that I would like to say is that. 
this is not going to be the first or the last because we want to be able to go through the entire list that everybody's trying to get their kids in and we want to get everybody in the program. There you go. So there probably will be a waiting list, but you know, trust me, I mean, we will stake our reputation here on the hotspot on this. Charlie always delivers on his word. He's done so many, many times with the amazing projects he's done. And I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that, you know, he's going to come through on this one. So this is amazing. And where were you 35 years ago when like when an 11 year old like Jason Salas was interested in, you know, doing like STEM stuff? No, I mean, that, that's what that's you were what, probably 12 years old, too. <laughs> no, I, I was like, that's what I what, that's what I think. And, and you know, with uh, with my four year old, you know, I think about where I want to put her, at, you know, in her progression. And, and I think that if there's an opportunity to bring this, I, I think that we need to be able to push this type of technology, mm -hmm. because as, as we were just talking about the initial drones and what we were looking at 10, 12 years ago, uh, you know, the um, the news feed now is on social media. I mean, the world is completely changing. Mm -hmm. Everything's on the phone. Everything's swipe. Uh, so I, I think that we, we have to be in tune with what's going on in the world. And, and we believe that the, the drone technology is going to be the wave of the future because drones are not, not necessarily just aerial. They're also going to be underwater, over land. That's so, a very good point. So, so, but being able to understand the dynamics of what it takes to be able to move something mm -hmm. um, is, is going to be very key. We just want a little, we want to be able to spark that interest. If I can spark one student and then one student comes back, you know, 20 years from now as he's getting uh, through the NASA space program and he's, you know, first Guamanian going up to the He's moon. a colonel in the Space Force. Yeah, or, you know. <laughs> that's, that's what we want. There you uh, go. Okay, real quick. We got, we got about five seconds left. Okay, so any student, a, um, seven to 12, that means uh, public school, private school, Dodea, homeschool. And Open to all open to all and all we right. look forward to getting everything and i guarantee you that we'll do more programs to get everybody through the program okay before you go how can they contact you for parents that have any questions at all so uh info at bellawingsaviation.com or we've already uh we started a tab right now it's coming soon tab uh we're going to release the dates and everything but look at our website www.bellowingsaviation.com there's going to be a junior program tab uh, click on it. We'll be posting uh, information as it gets released. There you go. We cannot wait to see what comes out of this. Charlie, man, thank you for doing this for our community. Awesome. No, this is you. amazing. All right. And please stay tuned because we have much more um, interesting stories, including we introduce you to the first Sergeant Major of Charlie's beloved United States Marine Corps, and he will be serving up at Marine Corps Camp Blast over there in Dedido. We tackle that topic when we come back.